On today's menu is a creamy, flavorful chicken curry that is incredibly delicious. Hey everyone, Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. Okay guys, I will start with my boring usual drill that is making a ginger garlic paste along with tomatoes. For which we need a large tomato, ginger and some large cloves of garlic. All go into the blender jar and get pureed into a fine smooth paste. Pan out, we will first dry roast some spices, fennel seeds, cinnamon stick, cloves, green cardamoms and a few black peppercorns. Toast the spices on a very low heat till they are fragrant which will take about a few minutes. Take them off heat as soon as you get that wisp of aroma. Grind them using a mortar and pestle or a spice grinder. If using a mortar and pestle, then please remove the skins of the cardamoms. Back to the pan, medium heat, add a teaspoon of oil and two tablespoons of ghee. This is my homemade ghee, the recipe of which is running on the YouTube card above. A dried bay leaf is the first one to enter the pan, followed by finely chopped onions. And if you're thinking, wow, Bumbi is so good at chopping onions so finely, then I must say no, not at all, but my food processor is. Stir the onions on low heat till they turn golden in color. We are not looking for too brown a color. When you see the oil dancing around the sides like this, that's an indication that your onions are well fried and ready for the next ingredient. Tomato ginger garlic paste joins the onions. Stir on high heat for 2 minutes and then add the chicken. Today I am using boneless skinless chicken thighs but you can definitely use bone-in chicken. Stir from time to time on high heat. While that is happening, let's deal with the yogurt. Here I have taken plain unflavored yogurt. And remember guys, I said unflavored. The last thing you want to make is a peach or cherry flavored chicken curry. Though it sounds interesting. Add the spice powders, Kashmiri red chili powder, or you can even use a combination of cayenne pepper and paprika or only paprika if you want no heat. Good amount of ground coriander, little bit of ground cumin, and finally the sunshine of Indian cuisine that is turmeric powder. Add about 2 tablespoons of water and stir as vigorously as your arms will allow you to. Coming back to the chicken, now see how that oil is released along the edges? When you see that, it's yogurt time. Reduce the heat of your stove to the lowest possible mark if you have a gas stove or take it off heat if using an electric stove. Add about 4 tablespoons of cold tap water to bring down the temperature of the pan and then add the yogurt and immediately without any delay stir everything to mix the chicken with the yogurt. After everything gets well mixed Heat back on if using an electric stove or increase the heat to medium and continuously keep on stirring till you see the mixture coming up to a boil. Now you must be thinking my goodness how much she can talk but I will go on explaining when it comes to certain things. Guys it took me a long time to figure out how to prevent my yogurt from separating so I just cannot stop myself from explaining whether you like it or not. As you can see the bubbles have started to show up. That's an indication that you can now stop stirring and reach out for the next ingredient that is salt. Again, add salt after you see those bubbles, not before that. I also added a sprinkle of sugar to balance the flavors. Next comes a very unusual ingredient, a cup of milk and then about half a cup of water. Then cover it partially with a lid for about 20 minutes on very low heat. From time to time give a stir to check that nothing is sticking to the bottom of the pan because you used milk and there is a tendency of things catching at the bottom. I felt I am not getting the right color 
so I added a teaspoon of paprika. Twenty minutes done, and it is looking just the way I want it. Now goes that aromatic spice powder to make the dish smell divine. And more of my flavor madness, that is ground mace and ground nutmeg. I even like adding just a fourth of a teaspoon of kasuri methi that is dried fenugreek leaves. But guys, do not add too much because you do not want it to be overpowering the aroma of the spice powder that we made. Again, cover on for five more minutes on very low heat. Five minutes done, lift off and you will be greeted by this gorgeous looking pan full of goodness that smells divine, looks divine and just look at that sauce. If you follow all my tips step by step, then you will be really very happy if you make this. Please click that like button and do leave a comment as your comments bring a smile to my face. Bye bye.